our CBS Health Watch, what if we told you there are some foods you can eat that will actually help you to lose weight? It's true. They're called superfoods. Now you know why. Our Dr. Malika Barshall is here to tell us what they are and how they work. Really, I can eat them and get skinny because I love that. That's what they say. All right. If they say it, I'm going to believe it. A lot of these things, though, I think are, or, or well, at least a few of them, things that people haven't really heard of. I know a couple of them were new to me. Quinoa, which, by the way, that's how you pronounce it because it's tough. You look at the box and you that's think, right. I don't even know how to say it, let alone eat it. Quinoa. But no, you're right. It's quinoa. Okay. So <laughs> what is it exactly? Is it pasta? Is it... Like couscous? It is. It's very similar. It's actually a whole grain that is found in South America, but it's growing in popularity here in the United States. And it's wonderful because it's high in fiber and it's high in protein, both of which can keep you feeling satisfied through the day so you're less likely to snack on unhealthy things and therefore maintain your weight. You can actually substitute it for where you would use rice. So okay. with a stir fry, for example, or as a side dish, you can eat it in the morning like you would oatmeal and add some berries and some nuts to it. And pretty easy to find these days, actually. It is much easier to find. You can find it in most supermarkets and certainly in specialty stores. Okay, and about the same prices as a rice or a couscous or a little more? This box costs about $4.50. Okay. okay, so it's something to keep in mind. Pomegranates. Yeah. I've heard so much about pomegranate juice lately, but you say the seeds are the way to go. That's right, because pomegranate juice has um, gained in popularity because it is chock full of antioxidants. It actually has more beta carotene than carrots do, and it has a lot of folate. But with the actual fruit, you get all of those benefits but you also get a lot of fiber, which again keeps you feeling full throughout the day. And I don't know if you remember as a kid getting these things. I just, everybody that I've spoken to says they're a lot of fun. They were a lot of fun. You pop them. You can actually buy the whole fruit or you can actually get the shucked berries and you can eat them by themselves. You can put them on yogurt, you can put them in cereal, on salad. So a lot very of great versatile. dishes too, I've noticed that you can make with pomegranate. So it's something to keep in mind. Not for that too. inexpensive though. Unfortunately, in this uh, day and age, they're pricey. They're I've noticed pricey. the juice is really expensive. It so is. looking at that, the goji berry. I, I have to say, I just tried one for the first time about two minutes ago. They have a really interesting flavor. They do. They're about the size of raisins, but they taste like a cross between a cranberry and a cherry. They're a little tart. They're actually um, uh, often found in Tibet. They've mm -hmm. been used in Tibet for 2,000 years for wow. medicinal purposes, but they also have a lot of protein in them. So if you eat them, again, you're going to feel more satisfied. So you can eat them by themselves. You can put them on a little bit of yogurt. I've only them seen in them salads. in the store, by the way, chocolate covered. Does that count as well if I eat a chocolate covered one? <laughs> Well, with dark Maybe chocolate and if you eat just a they little dark bit, chocolate. there you go. I think they count. All right, moving on. They can be tough also, to find. And very expensive. And very expensive. $15 for this. Okay, we're getting a little tight on time. Almond butter, better for us than peanut butter? Um, it, it also has a lot of protein. It has a lot of the healthy oils that even peanut butter has. But it's a nice substitute for peanut butter. So if you're not a peanut butter person, you can try almond butter. Put it on bread, put it in yogurt, add flavoring. All right, I love a good almond. And uh, we're tight, but eggs and green tea, always good. And always good to have you with us. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much. And uh, and stay with us, because if you want more on the benefits of these foods, you can, of course, check out our partner in health coverage, WebMD.com. Just do a little search there for superfoods.